Hello, I'm David Knox. Welcome to another short video tip to help you in your business. Now, this is a distilled version of the in-depth video in our online training, Real Estate Training by DavidKnox.com, which contains about 600 videos and about eight or 900 downloadable materials. And today, our topic is structure your listing presentation. All the videos I've done recording realtors out in the field on listing presentations, I look at their presentations and think, gosh, wouldn't it be nice if you had an order to it? And I see them go all over the place. They do report, then they do a benefit, then they do pricing, then they come back to something else. I'm thinking, you know, there is a nice logical flow and I'm gonna show you these steps and then you can build into them. So this chart that I'm gonna show you, if you'd like, you can take a screenshot of it and I'll talk about what you, what each of these are. In fact, you could actually start your listing presentation and have this chart right in front, say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, and by the way, you've already done your seller interview, you learned about their needs and motivation, and say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, what I'd like to do is take you through what I'm gonna call the real marketing plan, eight steps. And step number eight is the net equity check. And when you sit down with a realtor, the bottom line is the bottom line, how much am I, am I going to net out of the property? And step eight is preceded by everything before. And Mr. and Mrs. Seller, I want to show you the steps of selling a home in any market, anywhere. And by the way, you can tell me which of these you'd like me to focus on more. So step one is marketing management. And this is where you talk about, you know, arranging photos and the multiple listing service and all the data collection that goes into the beginning of it and managing the online marketing. Then exposure. A lot of sellers say, well, how are you going to expose it to the public? Well, you know what? In some cases, 70% of the customers are coming from another agent. So you might say, Mr. and Mrs. Zeller, you're asking me the wrong question. The first thing you should know is, how do I co-op with other agents? How do I share the MLS data and photos and broker open houses? Because this is gonna be one of the main ways that we find a buyer. Then, now you can talk about the public and the websites and open houses and advertising and marketing and everything else you do. Having done that, now it's time to secure prospects. And by the way, this is how you can blow the other agents out of the water. Say, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, any owner or any agent can probably do these steps down here pretty well. But this one is the one that is the most important, and that is securing the prospect, which means answer the phone, respond to the email, respond to the text, respond to the inquiry. And if they start saying, well, another company charges less, you can say, why don't you give them a call? See if they answer the phone. Well, they didn't answer. Well, there you go. They did everything else here, but they didn't secure the prospect. This is where we get paid. And then demonstrate the home. And this is another word for showing photos online, drone, aerial photography, whatever. We demonstrate it to the buyer and we get them into the attitude of acceptance. And then we secure an agreement to purchase, obviously get the signed contract. And now the closed transaction. And here you can say, whatever your number is, say, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you know, 6% of trans transactions do not close because of mortgage, title, insurance, inspections, qualifying, you know, all the things that can go wrong. So you're also paying me not only to secure the transaction, but to get it closed. And that is critical. And you can when you're done with this, they can see your value, all the stuff that goes into it. And next, fundamental selling, uh, need feature benefits presentations. And what you do here is you talk about, first of all, the need. What is the problem? Are they moving from pain or towards pleasure? And by the way, we have a video on that that uh, you can see. And then the feature is the specific service or characteristic. And then the benefit is how their situation is improved. So remember, you can talk about their needs because you qualify them. You can present all the features of your company, but then you have to present the benefit, which is how is their situation improved? How is the need satisfied? Um, is the price higher? Is market time shorter? Inconvenience less? Whatever that is, you need to present it. So for all of you brokers and owners, if you would like to train your agents with expanded versions of relative, relevant topics like these, to learn more, go to davidknox.com training, or you can click the link associated with this video, or better yet, give me a call, 952-835-4477. We'll set up a Zoom demonstration. We'll talk about the challenges you face, and I'll show you around a tour of the training site and our action plans on how it can help make your agents more productive. So thank you very much for watching this video.